guys, Brian here at TheBassCast.com. Just wrapped up the Rivers and Roads event. We have with us our 10,000, you guys heard it, $10,000 winners today. My name is Chaz Carrington. My name is Jared Williams. Guys, let's talk about this two-day event. First of all, $10,000. I mean, that's, yeah. that's some change yeah, for a man. local tournament series. Absolutely. You were up on the big stage today yeah. on top of that. Yeah. I mean, cool. how you feeling, man? Yeah, I feel good. Yeah, I, I feel this great. Is, this was a this was an awesome tournament. Uh, it was really well, well really well ran, and, and you know, obviously the city really cares about it. The people were really yeah. happy to be here. It was a good, great turnout. This man is awesome. It's been a while since. Yeah, I know both of us have won a big tournament on the river. This yeah. might be your this, first this is, big this win might on be the river. My first big win on. The I haven't won a big yeah. one since one of the priorities years yeah. ago before it folded. Yeah, that's been a while. Yeah, yeah. so like yeah. 2018. Yeah. But it's been, it was cool. It was yeah. cool. It's to do it the way we then. did it too was awesome. Yeah. So yeah. That All right, was let's cool. talk about the way you did it because that's what they go. My boys are going to want to know. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. How, how so, did they, let's talk about day one first. So first day we kind of ran the tide. We started up here on the James and worked our way down strategically throughout the day, ended up in the chick. Really didn't pan out for us. We ran back up and Chas caught one in like three and three quarters with 13 minutes ago. We were 10 minutes from the ramp. Yep. That really saved our tournament, gave us 15 yep. pounds. And that literally won us the tournament. Now. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, literally. <laughs> and uh, so today when we that. decided, you know, decided, hey, we're going to start where we started yesterday. And then we literally said, we're not making the run. We're just gonna fish, so we didn't. We only were a couple miles away from the launch, and we just put our trolling motor down and fished all day. We caught big fish on on multiple places we've never fished. Before. Literally, we eighty percent of the day yeah. was places we've we caught never three fished. Three different fish, and I fished here my pounds. whole life. Yeah, and they were <laughs> so all it was random places. places yeah. What was our main technique this week? Jim? Chatterbait. Chatterbait. Hundred yeah. percent. And then caught some key fish today on a square. Bill. On a square bill, and a couple on a drop shot, but mostly a chatterbait. But I think everything week. we weighed in was on a, a jackhammer. Pretty much in a, in a uh, one on a drop in shot. a zoom E1 uh, crank. Yep, yep. Were we fishing shallow or? Oh yeah. Fishing? I'm yeah. talking shallow. dirt shallow. Dirt shallow. Yeah. I caught a four pounder today, probably in in less than a foot of water. Maybe it was. Maybe we had to pull the trolling motor up because it was hung up. It's one of those fish that should have came off. It was hung up. Like, pull the trolling motor up, try to get it. I'm reaching out as far as I can to try and yeah, net it, it was, and somehow got it that. in the boat. Only like, reason you caught it because it choked the crank. Yeah, it's, it's just one of those, you know, it happens like that sometimes. All right, now you guys all know we talked about the tide here a little bit. Yeah. Uh, were some of the fish you guys were catching during the tide, or were you guys, you know, what were, Definitely. was it coming in, going out? Or both. both. Both, yeah, we, we caught them on outgoing this morning, and then it kind of slacked off for a little bit. We kind of made a few adjustments, kind of went yep. upside of some of the areas we were fishing when it started to come back around incoming, and... and and basically cleaned up shop. The on key this week, afternoon. I think for us, was the flood tide. It's okay. been a flood tide for at least two weeks now. And yep. I think because it's been a flood tide so long, this fish moved up into areas that they no yep. aren't normally are. So that was key for us, just kind of reading the water, seeing what was going on, and just reacting to it. We so caught a four pounder off something today that I know I fished, la I ran by last year that was dry Completely land. out of the Completely water. Almost land. every time we run by, it's out of the water. Yeah, okay. Okay. but today it had water on it, and we pulled up there and caught a four pounder off of it. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Well, congratulations, men. Thank you. Thank you guys so talking much. to thebasscast.com. You guys know they all you know fishy elite 70s yep, yep. and uh i've seen the photos all of the internet and two great <laughs> anglers right here and uh appreciate that if you yeah, guys want to give like social media anybody or you guys want to be followed shout out uh, i mean yeah, i got I mean, yeah you got a little right youtube here. yeah i got a little youtube channel, okay uh ctc fishing um and then you know just chaz carrington fishing on facebook yeah. but other than that j dot williams fishing on instagram and Facebook too, so post a lot of content to there. So yeah. absolutely, check us out. We'll probably do a follow-up YouTube video on this whole thing for sure. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> well, congratulations, ten thousand dollars right yeah. here, Rivers. That's the most important thing, though, right there. Yeah, the, the, money, trophy, spins, the money spins. The, the trophies are forever. Forever. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you.